Hey you all, welcome back to the channel. And guys, it's time for uh, Comments and Questions Corner again for the week. Uh, this is Volume 4. Um, and a lot of this material is probably going to, or a lot of comments we've you know, received over the last week, you know, obviously dealt a lot with the competition. Uh, we had, uh, you know, that we had going over on Twitter. So a lot of the commentary over the last week is going to be about that. But what I did find interesting uh, about um, some of the comments and, and things I, I was going over is that um, some of the, we got to hear more information from our critics, right? We got more participation with them during the, during the competition. And what's, what's uh, one thing I found is that you, you learn the most from your critics, right? Um, not, not all critics are good, but there are some cases where, um, you know, critics give you bits and pieces of information that, that maybe help you understand uh, certain things. And uh, sometimes hearing from critics can be uh, a good thing, not in every case. <laughs> and uh, we'll have to be the judge in this particular episode if hearing from critics is a good thing or bad thing. But I know uh, th there have been cases where critics have help me to see uh, things um, and, and make improvements where sometimes friends, uh, although they're trying to be helpful, sometimes what will happen, they can somehow sometimes always see the best in a situation and uh, development and growth. Sometimes you need to see all the, the good and bad together. Right. So I don't know if we're going to be able to discover that in this comments and questions section, but I thought it'd be interesting to uh, focus more on some of those comments over the competition uh, for me to help me understand where people's are, are coming from. Because from my perspective, like many of you who watch the channel, part of electronic community, you probably don't understand people who aren't involved in Electronium. You probably don't understand why they can't see this vision as clear as we see it. And it's been very difficult for me to try to understand why so many people don't understand uh, the, the importance of mass adoption and how you have to find real use cases for the cryptocurrency uh, um, area to work. And so I sometimes have struggled to understand why people will move into certain uh, coins um, that don't seem to even really be focused on mass adoption. And, and if they are, I, I've seen or heard no plan as of yet how they're going to do that. So and they don't seem to have that as their focus at all. So, uh, you know, maybe through listening to some of our critics, they may help us to understand. Now, uh, they have made, I have heard some points that have made a lot of sense. And that is if your system is able to, uh, you know, hold such a large amount of people in mass adoption, you know, and um, if, people have paid attention to electronium they would know that electronium has touched on this and uh that through the instant payment uh system processor and through uh other ideas like uh having a situation similar to what the exchanges have where you have your um your your um the, the exchanges don't really hold your coins you know what i mean they just kind of uh do this um uh it's kind of like a off um, site type thing where the exchanges are making up these accounts, but you, you guys know what I'm trying to say <laughs> about how exchanges work in relation to your, to your, to your coins that, you know, they can basically process transactions without taking the actually taking delivery of the, of the tokens. But anyway, so we're going to get into some of these comments, questions and concerns. I, I will try to look at some of the comments that people were, it wasn't many. It was just really, it was like a, a few people that, and one, one gentleman in particular who had quite a bit to say about things that were happening, you know, during the competition. But anyway, uh, guys, uh, let's, let's look at, uh, some of your comments and questions this week. And let me, uh, thank you all for being, uh, 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 subscribers to the channels, viewers to the channel, you've taken the time to comment uh, and, and and taking your time to view the channel. I want to thank you and I want to uh, return that the best way I can by looking at your comments 
and trying to participate with you all. So again, thank you. So I'm going to go back a, a, a little bit because I, I don't know how I man managed to miss this comment. Uh, but I'm going to go back uh, um, uh, the other week. And this came from Digit Spin Crypto. Uh, commented, very thoughtful commentary. Thanks. And uh, you guys know who Digit Spin Crypto are if, you, if you're in the electronic community. Uh, many of you have seen his channel. And I think it's a great channel. I watch his channel. And... I love the um, how he edits his videos, and uh, that's been uh, a problem for me, guys. Um, you know, when I when I first started making videos, uh, I did uh, attempt to be a great editor. I did, <laughs> you know, try to do a lot of the things that uh, come with being a good video uh, a creator, right? And it's very time consuming, guys. And um, as of late, um, I hadn't been able to really do that. So I had to go kind of straight to this podcast type, trying to relay you all guys important information I can uh, at the same time, trying to manage the, you know, the rest of my life over the course. But uh, my uh, my desire, my endeavor is to start to get back into a lot of video editing and uh, do things like that, maybe do some interviews. I don't think I'm gonna do random interviews like people on the street, but uh, maybe some people I know who are thinking about getting into crypto or don't understand things about it. I think I wanna start to do something like that. But now like Digispin Crypto, um, The Truthful Rob, um, and Who's the All About Tech. Uh, I just, uh, you know, if you're a content creator, you know what I'm saying? Um, these guys put a lot of quality work into their videos, a lot of attention in their videos. And uh, I, I try to watch as many of them as I can. And uh, you you all should, too, if you're part of the electronic community, because there, there's great content and you probably already know this. But um, uh, did you spin crypto? You do good content. And I do watch your channel and I appreciate you coming over and saying hello to minds thanks a lot so let's let's look at some of these comments and questions we've gotten over this comes from mr john thompson we really have no idea what uh oh i'm sorry that's still from the other video let's get let's get into last week i just went back guys that was on that on, a, on another video uh from the other week and i want to get back up to last week um and i think mr john thompson does have oh here it is same same gentleman Thank you, Mr. John Thompson, for, for being a viewer of the channel and giving us a comment. But this was during the, the competition, of course, last week. He says, got my electronic vote. And this is us leading, obviously, um, throughout. Mr. Fred Morris commented, voted electronium. So this is all everybody coming out to support. Um, let's see what Mr. Candyman commented. Uh, Big Wells uh, hasn't bought Electronium. Imagine one day someone will come along with $10 million and the coin will jump to the top 20. Yes, that can, I, you know, I, I, for me, Mr. Candyman, that's going to depend a lot on not just the projects and plans Electronium has going, but the image of Electronium, the branding of Electronium. And that's why I like to focus on marketing a lot. Because I, I guess too, because I feel like Project wise, plan wise, Electronium has everything together and uh, creating this image and this brand for people to eat it up. Uh, I, that's the only thing I find lacking at that point at this point. But I think that is going to happen one day and we're going to see Electronium uh, drop. Uh, you say here the top 20. I'm going for the top 10. Thanks, Mr. Candyman, for your comment. Uh, Chris coming, I hold Verge and Electronium. This is all during the competition. And now, guys, um, you know, we've been through the competition, the ups and downs of that. And uh, so I'm going to go real quick through a, a lot of comments pertaining to that. But I want to uh, focus a little bit on our critics during the competition because I think we're going to learn a lot from them um, uh, and, and learn some things about their thought process. And, and, and hopefully we can kind of understand people outside the Electronium community a little bit better. But uh, GWH1965 coming. The new vote is going on over. At, he's talking about Neo. M Kid, another great video. Keep up the good work. Thanks, thanks, M Kid, uh, from the Discord channel over there on the Electronium Discord channel. So you should go over there and, and, and hang out with us sometime and talk. Uh, Electronium, Electronium from Miss Eagle Eagle, Gavin Mearns. These everybody's coming in and voting. 
G common electronium only vote electronium. So I'm trying to get up here to our critics now. Um, crypto conversations commented fascinating video. Sergeant Marines was trying to find a link to uh, to the the competition with electronium. I believe this was versus uh, might have been token pay or neo. He goes, Electronium has balls of steel. has got balls of steel. That's right, Sergeant of the Marines. Electronium does have balls of steel. <laughs> Fred Morris, uh, thanks for being a watcher of the channel. Fred uh, has come in a, a few times on the videos. I appreciate you being a watcher, Fred. He goes, I, I always felt that Electronium could be the next Litecoin. It has the potential to be. Yeah, I, I think Electronium can be... Um, I, I, actually, I think Electronium is going to be better than litecoin right or it can be it can be it has a setup to be better than like than litecoin um and um and i and i think there may come a time when electron and we're going to be moving it just like we we do uh, you know um use litecoin more like a spending token and 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 and, and i think that's going to happen um, due to the the large scale of use, I think electronium is going to have. So it's going to be like everybody holds electronium. So it's going to be very easy to to transfer it and do commerce to it and accept it and take it. Uh, Shadid Shahid Dindan commented, "This is the one sided uh, argument about electronium. In fact, electronium has true community. And I believe he was. Uh, it was more of a comment on people who you know it was kind of funny about." Um, uh, the electronium and the two million registrants. Um, there are some people who are still alluding to those numbers may not be real. And if you watch the Richard Ailes video, Mr. Richard Ailes uh, said the same thing I'm going to say to you, and that he said the numbers are real, and I'm saying the same thing the numbers are real because you can pretty much tell when numbers are real because you can see the interaction of the community you can see the community's activity and if it isn't real it's going to kind of show up and you're going to be wondering hey you know where is everybody at if they got this many people you know where is everybody at and then some people actually commented on the uh the uh, the electronium minor but the electronium minor probably goes from like a hern and 10, 20,000 people to 160, 170,000 people, right? And uh, if you really do the math and think about that, you're approaching about close to about 10% of the electronic community using it. And I think that's a good number because um, basically uh, a lot of people probably aren't going to use the electronic miner because either they don't have time or... Or, and, and you got to think this is very small money. This is like less than three. Now it's like less than three bucks a, a month due to the price of electronium. So a lot of people aren't going to use the electronium miner, but having over a hundred thousand people using it and you got a million to couple of million registered users. I, I think that sounds pretty fair. And I think it still is a good indicator that we do have uh, a community that size that is authentic and real. Uh, let's see here. Undermining someone is not the right thing that comes from Sh Shahid Dindon. And, and that looks like he's probably responding again to some of the critics. And I'm, I'm trying to get to the critics, but I want to shout everybody. I want to uh, thank everybody for commenting. Uh, John Thompson comment. ETN came out to kick a little ass. Yes. With extreme prejudice. Electronium all the way. Defquan commented, Electronium for sure this time. New is just a trading coin with no future at all comparing to Electronium. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about Neo. Uh, what I've been hearing about Neo is it was supposed to be like kind of the Ethereum for the Asian market or China. And what's weird in recent news, uh, as I understand it, when you go over to the uh, to the the Asian community or China, uh, the people who are supposed to be adopting Neo, uh, it seems like instead they are opting for like Ethereum and EOS, right? Uh, and, and that's what I've heard, and that. 
the idea that they are looking at Neo the way that it's been coming out may not be the case. So I found that very interesting um, as well. Pete Leibov coming. It's a big sign to show uh, all uh, people that electronics for mass adoption got mine more today. Yep. Um, I had been picking up a little electronium every day. Dollar cost averaging it a bit. As it goes down, I can pick up more. Um, now, Mr. Joseph Dykes coming to Asia likes Neo and currently it seems to have no opposition by the Chinese government. I still like Electronium's, Electronium's mission. I just hope Electronium can survive the massive amounts that are being ASIC mined. Now, uh, this is kind of kind of touched on what I had just said about Neo in the Asian uh, community. He, he says here that Asia likes Neo and uh, I'm not um, going to going to say that, uh, uh, you know, that's not the case. But there have I've read several recent articles that say that the Asian markets in, in China may not be as uh, uh, um, um, what's the word they excited uh, <laughs> looking at Neo as, you know, to be their Ethereum. Or EOS, it, 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 the idea is instead they are going just going to Ethereum in EOS, so and investing in Ethereum in EOS. So I don't know, guys. That's something would you know maybe need a little bit more research. Now this comes from Mr. Dwarf Feisty. Now Mr. Dwarf Feisty is um, um, one of the people come in a few times during the series, and uh, he I believe he's a token pay supporter. He was an Electronium supporter, so I want to read some of the comments that he he made, uh, and he made about two or three, and I'm I'm having trouble locating one, but I'm going to do my best to try to to uh, find the other. The, it was about three of them, but uh, on this one he writes, "The voting polls are a joke. The host has less than ten thousand followers. He's using." The electronic community to accumulate more followers on his Twitter page if he actually advertises his polls to the and I'm trying to find the rest of what he was saying. But I, I remember a lot of what he was saying and I, I do have some more comments he said on my tablet. But uh, now he's referring to the gentleman who put the the contest on on. And I think it was like over 40,000 votes cast, which I, I think is good. That's I think that's pretty good. Um, and, uh, he, he's, he was talking about, um, uh, you know, that the host is just kind of a, a marketing, you know, uh, you know, pr a plan or, or, um, campaign for himself. Right. Uh, and we did find out that the host was affiliated with Linda coin. And, uh, I was thinking, well, if that's the case, yeah, that could be some pretty good, a uh, good, a good idea to try to market and put yourself out there. But uh, I think, guys, when we consider the hoopla and the noise that was still caused by this contest, uh, you know, coming from certain coins and certain members of the community, uh, you know, even if you want to try to look at it as it was just a small ragtag thing, uh, I think it did create enough of a momentum, enough attention uh, that was of significance to matter to people. And, uh, I, I, you know, that's the idea behind uh, involving communities and uh, marketing your tokens and various things like that is to get people caring, to get people talking about it. So in that regard, I think uh, the mission was uh, accomplished uh, if that was what he was setting out to do. And I and I and everybody, all these people participated. So in that I think it still worked. I, I don't think it was a joke. And I think it was a good exercise uh, in, in getting the community involved. So I, I don't think it was that. Although I can't really comment on was the ultimate plan of the uh, of the host of this of this tournament just to market kind of for himself and his page and his maybe but if he can do both at the same time hey you know what you know what can i say to that <laughs> you know uh let me go into another comment he have i'm going to read this off my tablet uh he also went on to say if you've done your research 
You will notice Token Pay and Litecoin are strategic partners. Verge was considered a partnership, but the Pornhub reputation was a bad rep, unattractive for business, which explains why Electronium outscored Verge easily. <laughs> Token Pay has a broad user than Electronium. Um, even Crypto for the People, who shields Electronium, strongly supports Token Pay. Matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he voted Token Pay over Electronium. Smart man, hedging his loss. Don't place all your eggs in one basket. Overall, Token Pay and Litecoin community will come together due to partnership along with Verge after the defeat. So no, they are not cheating. It's fair play. If Electronium really wants to win this, call upon the 2 million users to vote. And, and this comment came from Mr. Dwarf Fe uh, Feisty as well. Now, uh, if you heard what I just read, and I, before I say anything else, I just want to thank Mr. Dwarf Feisty for taking the time to watch the video and comment. Because, you know, even though he may not be a supporter of Electronium, um, you know, I, I appreciate hearing other people's views and opinions. We get to learn from each other. We get to understand a little bit better what's happening around us. And uh, where, whereas he talks a lot here about Token Pay and Verge, uh, I think Token Pay and Verge are, are, are good coins. Uh, and I'm not at this time invested in them. It doesn't mean I won't be invested in them at some stage if I, if I think. But it's just that Electronium for me at this point it's kind of the be all end all of you know a cryptocurrency. They they get the number one spot at this point in time. So a lot of my attention is there. But I do agree with him on not focusing his eggs on on one basket. Now he 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 talks a lot about crypto for the people and uh, crypto for the people is responsible. This guy is solely responsible. For even get for me even being involved in Electronium and knowing about Electronium, I wouldn't have known anything at all about Electronium thanks to Crypto for the People marketing for Electronium to get me involved. Or I would have still probably been looking around, or I might have just had noticed. But as far as Token Pay, I have watched Crypto for the People's channel and. He is a big supporter of Token Pay. I think he's made a lot of money with Token Pay. Uh, I don't. I don't know. He's maybe made more money with Token Pay than Electronium at this point. I. I, I have no idea. And uh, you know, if he is supporting, if he did over vote for Token Pay, uh, I think he's put in a, enough work for Electronium as well. And I don't think it, it's like an either or situation. I don't. You know, think by him voting for token pay if he did that if it was in his best interest to do that uh i don't think that's a negative thing against electronium uh, i think at this point in time if that's the case maybe token pay and and you know the state at which he's gotten into token pay i i know he interviewed someone from token pay on his channel is is possible he does have a very good relationship with token pay and token pay seems like a pretty good token a coin i don't know a whole lot about it i do know that they invested as well in a bank right uh about 10 percent of a bank along with uh, partners verge and um and and litecoin and, and and they're trying to get more people in and uh uh it, again i can't say a whole lot about token pay because i don't know a whole great deal about them or when i looked at the token uh the thing that kind of looked a little bit kind of strange to me is it was their position you know obviously their position was um their position was uh they were ranked a lot lower than electronium their their um volume was a lot lower and unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to research if they did an ICO, how they raised funds, like how are they able to afford to pay for this bank and invest in this bank? I don't I don't even know what the buy in price was. Right. I, I don't have any of those details, but apparently they did. And uh, from, from I've heard nothing but good things about token pay. The only bad thing I heard about token pay was during the competition. Uh, the cheating allegations and as well as the um, 
apparently they admitted to cheating as well. And the, uh, the, the, uh, their, their, their PR, right. How they deal with the public, uh, was for a company I would look at to be on a level. They are having these big partnerships and, uh, buying banks and, 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 and the like, uh, I, I, I definitely expect a lot more professionalism with dealing with the, uh, the community and, and especially something like this, especially like even how the, uh, Mr. Dwarf Feisty looked at this whole competition as a complete joke, um, you know, for them to, to even really concern themselves. You know, if we com uh, compare that to the electronium, team, you know, I mean, in corporate electronium, the, the electronium, Mr. Richard L's, uh, they didn't, as far as I know it, they didn't even have a comment one way or the other about it. And so and I think that was a good thing. And I think maybe Togepi should have did the same thing, but, uh, yeah, that, that's my thoughts on that. Um, and, and only to say that, uh, again, I appreciate your comment, Mr. Dwarf Isaac, but you were like 500% wrong because not only did we still win, we did call that two million community to win, uh, and we did win, and uh, right, he predicted that we would lose and that uh, that they would be victorious. Uh, with all these partnerships, you're talking like a lot of wallets. You're talking well-established coins, and they still weren't able to win. So, you know, uh, that's the only thing I can say about that. But I, I do appreciate your comment, Mr. Dwarf Feisty, because I think it's important that we hear everybody's viewpoints again through this. I think we're able to hear what our critics have to say. And, and, and sometimes our critics are right. You know, sometimes they're right about certain things. And, and when that's the case, I think we need to be mindful of that and we need to, uh, you know, try to correct that. And through doing that, we improve ourselves. So. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Crypto Oracle upload. Uh, I'm sorry, wrong one. Uh, Mr. Crypto Knight coming. It's a matter of time. I, it's a matter of time. I believe. I'm not fond of, of, Ellis, but, Electron has a strong future. I believe he's referring to Mr. Richard Ellis, and he he says I'm not fond of him, but, and I I don't I don't know what exactly he doesn't give specifics about why he's not fond of, um, of, uh, Mr. Mr. Richard else. Um, um, you know, me personally, uh, I'm in love with the electronic community. Now, what I'm, what I'm beginning to understand, uh, is that how the electronic team is approaching marketing. And I'm just kind of throwing this all in with, uh, you know, because I, I have to assume that when he says he's not fond of Mr. Richard Ailes, it's obviously got, it's something business related that Electronium has done in particular or not done. Right. And so he's saying that um, he's not fond of that, but he believes Electronium has a strong future. And I agree with that. I'm, I'm, I think with me, I'm more interested and more uh, in faith or have more faith in the electronic community more so than the electronic management. And that's, that's not, I'm, that's not a bad thing towards the electronic management as to say that, um, that uh, they, they aren't doing something correctly because uh, as I understand more and I learn more, I'm, I'm beginning to understand There's a lot of things. I, I, I don't know about how they're going after, there are certain business partnerships and why they're doing it. And I'm starting to pick up a lot of information about why they're doing that. You know, like it, we're talking about like these mobile payment plans, like how people in many of these third world countries, they're using these mobile minutes and plans. They, they almost use them, use them like a currency themselves, right? They can kind of trade these mobile minutes and, and, and they're actually doing that. They're actually trading their, <laughs> their mobile minutes like a currency to buy things. So, um, you know, what Mr. Richard Ailes was saying that it just make more sense that they can trade electronium, something a lot more efficient and stable, like a coin that's doing the same thing. So, you know, as I start to learn a lot more in specifics about why they're taking their approach, uh, I get a lot more understanding. And, uh, uh, you know, so 
I, I believe the community does have a strong future. And I, I, I think that my, my misunderstanding maybe with the Electronium team was I was looking at uh, the, 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 the approach of social media because social media, you know, we got to just, you know, come to terms with social media is the way to market, right? And using social media to market is pretty much how everybody gets their marketing done nowadays, right? So I, I'm used to that old um, uh, 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 that old guard way of doing things, right? And so maybe that's how come it, it, it you know, it's, it took me a little while to start trying to understand exactly what they're doing and how they're going about this. But I can also say that uh, I, I think over a period of time, we're going to see a lot more proactive community. And what I mean by that, we're going to see a lot of more members of the electronic community being very proactive and taking a lot of initiative and getting things done. We, we, we're already seeing that done with Crypto NWO as he's doing. He's created kind of his own version of the gig economy. Right. Uh, I want to do some projects on my site and, and be a vendor for Electronium. And I think we're going to start to see a lot more of that take place over uh, you know, over, over, over time. And, and as Electronium grows more. So guys, um, uh, getting late in the video, I'm going to try to try to wrap it, wrap it up. Uh, so, uh, uh, I, let's see what else is going on here. And this is more people trying to get us to vote. Mr. John Thompson, again, they got token pay and verge. Okay. He's talking about when they were, uh, uh, uh during the comp the competition. Okay, let's read what Mr. J.C. Dong commented. This will just further elevate Electronium. Currently, guys, as investors, all we need to do is wait. The execution is already occurring, and it's a matter of time before Electronium becomes number one. It's going to take, uh, I believe he said, um, take time or something like that. Uh, and I agree, Mr. J.C., um, I, I think the execution is already underway. And uh, we know we're waiting on a lot of rollouts to happen in September. And I think we're going to see a lot there. Uh, Mr. Andy H2 commented. I actually saw it coming again talking about the competition. Trying to stay away from competition because I feel like we've pretty much already covered the competition. Uh, is, is there anything else? So they talking about the manipulation. So, guys, I, I think uh, in Crypto Conversations goes brilliant on one of the videos. Thank you, Crypto Conversations. Thanks for being a watcher of the channel. So, guys, I think we've went long enough. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. want to thank all you guys. If I didn't get to your comment, if I didn't uh, answer any questions for you, uh, comment, let me know, curse me out, tell me that I need to do better at this. <laughs> and I will try to do better. But, guys, anyway, thanks again. Guys, if you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and until next time, take care.